Hello, my name is Patricio Sicardi. I am a teacher of uh, nautical English at the Nautical School of Buenos Aires, Argentina. And uh, the idea today is to learn some uh, vocabulary uh, for the um, future engineers. There are cadets at the Nautical School that are studying at the deck department, future um, mates, officers, deck mates, uh, also engineers, the ones we are interested in today, and uh, also we have the catering department. Uh, so we are going to see today the engine room layout. Layout means la disposición de la sala de máquinas. Um, the purpose of this video is for you to be familiar with the um, expressions that are so common in your technical jargon, in la jerga técnica de máquina. No? So I am going to translate. This is what I normally do, uh, sometimes in the middle of some phrases, sometimes at the end. But the idea is for you to be used to um, some terms, some words uh, that you have to know to pronounce in the right way. And let's start from the very first one today. I'm going to read the different uh, items that you find in the engine room, especially platform one today. Uh, but you have to understand, um, first of all, what these things are, but also how to pronounce them. The very first one, engine room platform one, engine, engine. Engine means motor. This is the, the meaning. But the pronunciation is important too, because some students tend to say engine when they are reading uh, on their own or maybe when they are reading aloud. So it's not engine, but engine, the engine room platform one. Room sometimes for us on a ship is sala, sometimes salon, cuarto, the pump's room, cuarto de bombas, engine room, sala de máquinas, okay? Storeroom, in our river plate Spanish we say pañol de, yeah? Um, paints could be, the pinturas. So, um, room means all that, yes? But engine, engine room, layout, disposición, uh, y lo que encontramos en la primera plataforma de la sala de máquinas, engine room. I'm going to read, so, uh, ideally, you have got the, the text, but you can do something. You can do three things, actually. You can do the reading first, pause the video, and then listen to me. You can listen and, uh, and read at the same time, or you can listen and see what you understand. So, either of the three uh, things is, is possible. So, you decide which one is best for you. Yes, um, maybe it's more challenging for you to listen and then try to read and, and understand and go back and and later do the do the reading and listening, but uh, it's up to you. So there are different levels of understanding of English, and um, there is no right or wrong thing. So you choose the method you want. Yes, so you can mask, you can just forget about that and listen to me and see me, or uh, do both things, or as you wish. Now, later on, we will be having uh, the translation of this. I am a technical translator by, uh, well, my certificate uh, says so, and um, so I like translating a lot, and um, so that you're not completely lost with this technical jargon, uh, in part two of this video, I am um, providing the translation of the whole text I am going to read, okay? Well, let's start from now on, uh, and for those that are not reading, there are different headline, uh, headings, como, como títulos encabezados, of the things, of the items found in the uh, platform one of the engine room, yes? I will be pausing so you understand it's another thing. Engine room platform one. Starting air receiver. This is a kind of storage vessel that resembles a bottle containing compressed air for starting the main propulsion unit. Air is pressurized 
in air compressors and supplied to the air receivers. There are always two separate air receivers in the starting air system. Another one, we can call it number two. Main engine emergency control station. This is designed to operate the main engine in the event of automatic control system failure. Such a station can be located either on the machine itself or close to it. It is normally used in case of emergency. Number three, main engine. The name main engine currently refers to the prime source of power converting heat energy into mechanical power needed mainly to rotate the propeller and consequently to drive a ship. Engine room platforms, we can say item number four if you prefer. Around the main engine there are several decks in the form of galleries to provide access to all machinery. The decks are made of steel plates and gratings and must allow clear observation of the spaces below and above. Item 5. Main engine again. This is a slow speed two-stroke reversible engine manufactured by MAN or MAN B and W under license from H. Uh, Sekilski. The type is the 7S60MC-C series. The engine drives a fixed pitch propeller. Another item. 6. Vacuum priming unit for ballast pumps. This device is designed to remove the air from the working space of the ballast pumps in order to start their operation. 7. Starting air compressor. Compressed air has many uses on board a ship, ranging from starting diesel engines to cleaning machinery during maintenance procedures. The air can be compressed in a multi-stage process. And last but not least, 8. Starting air compressors. Plural. The majority of engine room machinery must be doubled for emergency backup. OK. Um, we are going to see the translation in part two. Yes?